what the fuck is this? <sighs> Episode 3692. So it's come to this. I don't want to do this. I actually do not want to do this. Yeah, I, I don't want to do it either, but you know, we I decided to do this. I know it's a bad idea, but... NES um, Golf would actually have been better than this. Yeah, that's probably true. Um, uh, we we got to do this. All right. <clears throat> All right. I'm AC. Uh, and I'm Rob. I'm AC. And I'm Rob. Welcome to Bit Seizure. Once more with feeling. Um, today we're going to be playing uh, Teddy Boy for the Sega Master System. The most interesting thing about this is the backstory. Yeah, this game has a stupid name, Teddy Boy. What the hell? When I was a kid, I had no idea why it was called Teddy Boy. But now I know through the magic of the internet. Uh, Teddy Boy Blues was a song that was released, I think, in 1985 um, in Japan by Ishino Yoko. And um, she was a. Yeah, apparently a pretty popular uh, pop star at the time. Um, and the song was so popular that. Um, uh, they made a game. They made a game, but. So they called, called it Teddy Boy as a reference, and they actually included uh, the, a sprite of the singer in the game with the music based off the original song, I suppose. Yeah. But when they released it for Western audiences, they actually cut all of that out, so making less sense. There's no um, Yoko in the game. There's no uh, background music that's similar to the, the, the song. Which is good, because frankly, we listened to the song. It's not very good. No, it's pretty crappy. It's Even for mid-80s pop, it's pretty shit. Mm. Um, so what you're left with is just this annoying game that never seems to end with pretty lame gameplay, no story. It has 50 unique levels that loop, and then after you finish all 50 levels and a couple of bonus stages, it loops that way as well. So it's like looping and... Uh, there's not a whole lot of point. It was, to be fair, a Sega Mark III, which is Master System, launch title. Yeah, so that might go some way of explaining why it's not particularly good. Mm. Um, I remember hating this game, and whenever someone like talk about bad Master System games, this is the game that always came to my mind. Um, so why don't we play this great game and... This is gonna be one fucking short video. Let me Let's give it a go. Sega. I always felt like doing that back in the day. Yeah, yeah. it's a Master System. Okay, here we go. Oh, it looks glitchy already. 1985. <laughs> Teddy boy. Teddy boy. Okay, so there is two player, but... That's like not simultaneous play, so there's no point. No, you just pass the controller back and forth, so yeah. um, no forget point. that. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's now, good. what I have here is a modded controller. Why would I use a modded controller? Uh, because this game has uh, the annoying backwards controls. Uh, I like to call them backwards. Um, you know, there's a one, there's a right button for jump and there's a wrong button for jump, and this this damn game uses the wrong button for jump. Uh, it uses uh, button button one for jump and button two for shoot. Um, Ooh, and it should be the other way around. He dies like Alex kid. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hand it over to Rob. As you can see, you shoot things. Yeah, you got this like looping stage. You can see, like, if I walk over here, it just it's the same thing. Over it just and over loops again. forever. I'm just gonna yeah. keep walking here. <laughs> Demonstrate. Um, so you you turn the enemies into balls. And you collect balls, because you love balls. Yeah, because this guy just can't get enough of balls. <laughs> that's the best thing about this game. Yeah. That's that's sad. It's a ballsy game. Let's put it that way. Um, so you need to kill all the enemies and collect their shrunken corpses. Yeah, and if you don't, they turn into those little fucking weird faces. Yeah. So. They will... They'll come down and eat some of your time meter. I'm assuming that's what that is down the bottom. Yeah, you got this time limit, and you got to kill all the enemies. And if you don't collect the little corpses... Uh, then they turn into those little weird... See, look, it's those things from Alex Kid. Yeah, or I know. rather, those things from Teddy Boy. That used to make me think, like, is Alex Kid set in the same universe as Teddy Boy or something? Like That would make this mildly interesting, but I, <laughs> I, I'm still thinking this is actually one of the most boring games. It's, it's incredibly mind-numbing, because this is the game, and what you're looking at now, it doesn't get any better than this. It's just different iterations of the same shit. So um, those snails are kind of weird. You stun them, but you need to wait for them to land on the ground or walking on like a platform before you can kill them. Yeah, um, so you got to bide your time to get those snails, I guess. Um, now I'm never going to get over to the other side of the map. This how, do you get, how do you get over I there? To, I have to jump up here. And then oh, you see, now I'm here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, missed it. Okay. 
try and get this guy. There we go. Now, that's everything, and we're on to stage three. Um, I like his little yarmulke he's wearing. Yeah. Bright, bright lime yarmulke. He's, he's an orthodox Jew. <laughs> With a gun. For some a reason. Tommy gun, for some reason. Yeah, because that's just quintessentially Jewish. Um, it's just... This is a bonus stage, and I don't know what I'm doing, except I think I'm getting beer. smokes get beer. and beer. So I'll get, I'll get the <laughs> smokes. smokes, and then I'll get the beer, and uh, then I'll get some Converse Chuck Taylors up here. And <laughs> it's pretty much everything that's rad. <laughs> um, I have no idea what this is about, but you get points from this. Because points is where it's at in the 80s. Yeah, it's all about points. So I've got, so got my smokes and my beer. Like it, we're actually being quite kind to this game, I have to say. Like, we could be really ripping this game a new one. It's it's just dull and annoying. because it gets we're, tr quite... we're trying to find something interesting about it, but there's just not much you can really say. It gets pretty hard from here on. And the colour palette of this level in particular is just insane. Yeah, oh, it's so bright. You want to turn the contrast down. It's like searing your eyeballs, you know? I'll pass it back to AC. Goody. Um, I should warn you, I haven't gotten past this round, um, ever. So, <laughs> um, good luck. Uh, but apparently there are... So if you stand on the platforms... Whoa! Yeah. They'll do that. Oh. <laughs> Man, that was... That was harsh. Well, we'll play another... We'll play another... Alright, um... one more round. One more round because we hate you. Yeah. Uh, because there's still more to say about this wonderful game. Uh, <laughs> I'm passing it back to Rob. Level by level, life by life. Okay. That's a good, a good deal. Um, so there's really nothing much else to say. Uh, whoa! Jeebus, but it is kind of difficult as it's, well. It's a bastard, actually. It looks easy when you look at this game. Like, oh, okay, I just gotta shoot the guys and avoid them and jump around. But like, how hard could it be? But um, there's some things about the game that make it annoying. Like, I have no idea when that got, when those people are gonna jump out of those dice. I have no idea. Um, like, one time I was waiting by this dice. It had like one guy left in it. Um, I was waiting and waiting and waiting for it to come out. Nothing came out. Then the moment I went near it, the guy jumped out and just ganked me out of nowhere. It's like, ganked you here. son of a bitch. You know, like, it's such a, a frustrating experience when that happens to you because, you know, one hit and you're dead. Um, and then there's this, like, annoying, like, death screen that takes a little bit too long and sort of irritates you uh, before it lets you back in the game. So, um, I hate when games give you that downtime in between lives. I want to just jump right back in once I'm dead, you know? And um, when games make you wait, it always just drives me up the wall. This is... He loves balls. He really, I'm just going to reiterate that. He really does. Oh, I'll look out. Oh, oh. close. That was, that, was a, that was a close one for Teddy Boy. <laughs> is that his name? I don't know. Let's he, call him Teddy Boy. Is he Teddy Boy? And the music is so inane. Like, I mean, the original song that this is based off is not great. No. But it's probably a damn sight more exciting than someone who's obviously just... Day one of music school stabbed at a synthesizer and said, yeah. This'll do. It's definitely... It's very cheerful, but that cheerfulness masks the devilish nature of this game. Because you, know? <laughs> um, you think, oh, yeah, it's just like, oh, a fun little game. But then you end up screaming at the, at the system and, like, you know, throwing the controller on the ground and <laughs> using swear words you heard your dad use five minutes ago because you're seven years old and you hate this stupid game. <laughs> um, oh, my dad was great with some swear words. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So we're on to round two. Um, I'll pass it over to AC. Oh, we are all going to die. And that's good. That is a good thing in this game. Yeah, I, think, oh, Jesus. I, I welcome the sweet kiss of death in this game. Um, is it? Are dragons good? I think so. I, but, but bugs aren't. Okay. So watch out for bugs. Um, shoot things. Shoot, shoot everything. Should always be shooting. That's Teddy Boy. That's the rule of Teddy Boy. Never not be shooting. Get your smokes. Get the smokes. <laughs> I guess I was good. I won. You got... 10,000 points for those sneakers. You don't collect them. That's what bugs me. Yeah. Like, usually you, know, you, you, you shoot it and you collect it and then that's good. Oh, God. It's a smiley, happy face. Yeah. It's like years of playing Bubble Bobble has taught me that when you see some, like, colourful little, like, points thing, you, like, run over and grab it, you know, um, <laughs> and, and deny your, your friend the opportunity to, to get them. Um, I'm going nuts! No! I hate this game! <laughs> this, this level really does remind me of, like, a fever dream or, like, a, a, <laughs> a bad trip, you know? Like... <laughs> I have to take your word for that one, Robbie. Yeah. Um. Ah! Even when I went nuts with a gun, I couldn't kill everyone. It's just like a bad time all around this game, you know. Like <laughs> this is like we've said everything nice, we've said everything mean, mm. but in the end, it's just a very dull game. It's not like so spectacularly bad. It's not. Yeah, I mean it's playable. I mean, yeah. You know, it's not as bad as um, 
I don't know, Ghostbusters for the NES. You know, it's 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 like there's something to it. It's just it it ramps the difficulty up. Like I don't think it's possible to get a heck of a lot further than this anyway. No. Um, because all right, last life, and then we're done. Right, we're so it. seriously done. If if you made it this far, we salute you. Oh, look out! Well, oh, look out for the sandwiches. I, what I, sandwiches? I can think that they're like. What are they? I can think they're killer sandwiches, or like. Decapitated crocodile heads. No, <laughs> that's what they look like to me. Oh, round four. All right, I'm, I'm excited to see what round four is like. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, um, it's probably going to look exactly the same as every other. Oh god, look at that color. Oh, that is. Hideous. That hurts. That literally hurts my eyes. Oh look out! Whoa! Well, you saw it first here on Bit Seizure, level four of Teddy Boy. <laughs> we apologize. I'm sorry, guys. But, uh, at least you know not to play this game ever. Yeah. Because we've done it for you. Well, I'm Rob. <laughs> And I am AC. And uh, we'll see you next time, I guess. If you come back. Bye.